Welcome to the Spy Collection. My name is Anastasios and in this video we look at an artifact from World War II. From 1939 until 1945 the United Kingdom's War Office had a department known as the Military Intelligence Section 9 or MI9. The MI9 had only one purpose, conducting clandestine operations in occupied Europe in order to organize escape and invasion efforts for prisoners of war. Because of that, MI9 had developed a variety of different gadgets to assist their mission. Many of them also became part of the escape and evasion kits that members of the Royal Air Force and the Special Operations Executive were carrying with them, since the likelihood of having to escape from a hostile region was higher than the average military personnel. Among those gadgets, it was also the magnetized safety razor blades. Prisoners of war were allowed to receive humanitarian care packages and the MI-9 was frequently using this to pass concealed escape and evasion gear. For example, in the 2015 book Official Secret, The Remarkable Story of Escape Age, Their Invention, Production and the Sequel, we find the following reference. Needless to say, we continue to produce our compasses in the factory. For one thing, they were more reliable than the magnetized razor blades. Another similar reference we can find at the Escaping Hitler, stories of courage and endurance on the Freedom Trails, where we can read the following about Christopher Clatty Hutton, one of the most remarkable intelligence officers and inventors at the MI9. Clatty's inventiveness seemed to know no bounds. He magnetized razor blades so that when they were placed on still water, for example a paddle, they would point north. So, if you look here, we see two identical packages that would be normal for a soldier in World War II to have in their kit or receive as humanitarian support. Although they appear identical, they are very different. Let's start from the left side. What you see here is a razor blade from the forties from Clean. That was a British company based in Sheffield. And if we open this up, you would see that there is nothing really special going on with this blade. It's stuck, but okay. So you can see it here. People's blade, clean. And if we turn it on the other side, we have the registration number and nothing really special. Now if we move on the right side, we have an identical package but with a significant difference. So if I open this up without destroying the packaging, yep, there it is. Uh, first of all, you can see the packaging that it is very, very similar. Well, it's identical. There we are. But the razor blade itself has a small difference. On this side it is identical to the normal one as you can see here, well almost identical, but on the other side you have uh, the year 1945 so close to the end of World War II but also some arrows. Those arrows were magnetized so that the blade points to the north when placed on still water. In practice the prisoner could find some water and place the razor blade on something like a leaf and then leave it on the water and it will act like a compass pointing to the magnetic north. So together with a map you can execute all of the normal land navigation steps. As you can see here when I try to do that this uh, razor blade is no longer pointing north likely got demagnetized after almost 80 years of storage. However, it still shows some of the gadgets that MI9 was producing during that time. MI9 has produced some of the most innovative escape and invasion devices and gadgets, with this one being one of the simpler ones. Still, it provides a look into a world unknown to most people. So, thank you for watching the Spy Collection, and remember, in this world, nothing is as it seems.